Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's tour is going to be of a home that is built on the beach front property. And I haven't built on these regular plots like this in a while, but I love the waves and how they flow in and with it being summertime, I you know, wanted to build a house on this particular plot so the house itself is kind of sideways on the property um, that is the front door there um, and you see it has a separate building um, that is actually a garage um, and then it has a little upstairs area to it and so the reason I really don't like building on these plots now um, is because you can't come all the way to the sidewalk. And so in reality, this is actually supposed to be kind of like a, um, you know, circle type drive um, to where they come in, you know, the right side of the fountain. Um, and then they would, you know, pull up into the driveway and um, things. But you know, these particular plots, we can't uh, go up to the road like we can in the driveway plot. So hopefully, maybe with the driveway plots, they will give us one that is beachfront. I know they gave us that desert oasis one. Um, so yeah, maybe that's something that we will have um, in, the, in the near future. But as you um, come down into the property you will see that your um your way to get down into the property is um you know through that little uh gate there and uh, just show you on that side there's actually a door that uh leads into the garage um that I put that little fencing area there to just kind of make it a little private um, <clears throat> but as you come, you know, in through that gate there, uh, you just have the outside pool area. This idea, it's not exactly like Joy, um, done on her channel, but I kind of got that idea of using that statue, um, with the shrubs and things, um, off of one of her videos. She had done some merging and, um, and glitching with some of her hedges and things and made it look a lot better uh, than how I've just got it there um, with the hedges, um, you know, placed um, to the side and then those um, taller ones there in the front. But with the ivy in the back, I still liked <clears throat> how it turned out. And there's a little um, hot tub and a pool area. And there is the seal that lives here. She is just relaxing in the pool. And then there's a little sitting area. Um, outside and then um, you know just some planners and a grill in the back so we will go into the house and as you come into um, the front door it is one of those big um, wooden and iron doors and so you come into the foyer and you have a large staircase and there is just a um, little table there to the side with, you know, decorations and a picture behind it. And then there is the view um, from the door. You can see um, out to the pool area. The door to the right as you come in is just a small little office. And it has everything that she would need to do her work from home. Plus, she has a nice view of the pool. And so, as you come back out and you come in this little doorway, there's like a little um, hall. You can go left or you can go straight. If you go left, you come into the laundry room. And it's just a simple little laundry room. And if you go straight you um, go into the downstairs bath 
and it does have a shower and vanity and toilet so as you come back out and we will go through here this is the kitchen and I've used those new windows um, and then I think this was the French chateau cabinets if I'm not mistaken and that is the kitchen and then across this away I've used the heritage um, not heritage I'm sorry home style or homestead uh, table and chairs in the green just because they match that rug so uh, perfect and then there's a little um, shelving with dishes there and just some artwork on the wall and if you come through this archway this brings you into the living room and it has um, the you know views to the ocean out there um, or the pool area through those windows and just you know couch television a chest with the lamp and some plants um, I added that little seashell there on that coffee table and over this way just has the grand piano a table with some artwork and lighting and the grandfather clock over there by the back door so that is all of the downstairs area and we will come back to the foyer and go up to the landing and you see there are, um, is a very tall um, one of those arch windows at the back of the stairs <clears throat> and the front part of the foyer is also a mezzanine so they can see down to um, you know whoever's at the front door and if we come through this archway there's just a little hallway with one of those um, little hedges up in um, I just bet there's like a little linen closet the door to the right is the upstairs bathroom and it is identical to the downstairs bathroom except instead of a shower it has one of those tubs with the iPad and if we come across the hallway we come into a guest bedroom and I've used that older designer bed and furniture. Um, and I, re I really like that set, you know, when it came out, but I still like it. And then there is a bookshelf there. And that door is to the closet. And so if we come back and go across the mezzanine uh, foyer, and we come into another little hall, and the first door to the right is a nursery um, and well you could make it a, a regular bedroom I just chose to decorate it as a nursery and this is the um, the modern I think it's in the teal and I thought it was real cute and then that door of course is just to the closet and you come back out and through these double doors would be your master and I've used the dark brown um, villa furniture and they have the two um, you know double windows double arch windows to, for a view of the ocean and there is also a television with a dresser and lamp and of course she has a view to the pool area and through this little um, doorway is her walk-in closet or the master walk-in closet it's definitely big enough for two people the sim that live here uh, lives here right now is currently single and so i also added this little um rack there uh, maybe for like as she's planning out her wardrobe for the week and then she has a little vanity and then when you go through this door 
you come to the master bath and it is like the other bathrooms um, it has the shower and the um, the tub both and it has a view to the ocean as well and so I think that is all the rooms of the main house so let me go down and come over here to the garage and show you this part um, again it's just a a garage <laughs> in here and I put the I don't know what whatever wagon this is with the surfboards and stuff it looked beachy um, I put that in the garage and you know just has the little tool bench and uh, some cabinets with a sink so they can you know wash up and then um, in here is a washer and a dryer set and you'll see kind of why I added that even though there is a laundry room in the main house but if you come over this way you see that there is a stairwell and there's a door so if you're um, you know from out you know already outside um, you can just come through this doorway that's kind of, you come through the little gate and it's, you know, tucked right in here. Um, and so as you come up the stairs, this is a little above the garage apartment that, um, she rents out. And... I just put the little bed there with a little, you know, the closet unit on each side and some lighting over. Um, there's a little desk there, television. There is a table and two chairs, you know, in her little kit, the kitchenette over here where the Sim who rents it can do her, um, you know, small light cooking. And, um, I would say it would be plenty big enough. And then there is a door that leads out to this little balcony that overlooks the pool area and it's a very small little you know balconette but um, it does have a little reclining um, seat there so the sim that is renting this area can go up there and relax and through these doors is the bathroom and there is you know some towels and this nice large vanity i did put a chair there um so she could the sim that rents could sit and do makeup the coffee pot is in here as is the water cooler um so the sim could come in here and make coffee in the morning um, while they're getting ready through here is just a chest with some you know jewelry perfumes and um the tub and then there is a little nook through here. That would be the toilet area. And so that is the property. I think I've showed you um, all the rooms. So what we'll do, let me back up here. This is a big property, so bear with me. Um, I'll go into build mode so you can kind of see the placement of things as far as the um, spacing and the size of the rooms and things. And this is the, the downstairs um, or the first floor view. And I did use every square, I think, um, between the building and the outside landscape. And let me go to furniture mode just to kind of brighten it up a little. And this is still on the first floor. Back here to the 
garage area and on uh, downstairs it's just the one big room and um then the you know little small spot where I've got the washer and dryer and I'm not particularly um very fond of the front of um, the property um, facing the street view the way it does the sidewalk and stuff there but um, I guess if you're you know playing with the main part of the house you don't really notice that so we will go up to the second floor and let me go to the room view so you can see kind of how I did that And the bedrooms, you know, are kind of small, but they do serve, you know, I mean, if you put nursery or uh, bunk beds or, you know, twin bed in there, you even have more room than if you had a double. And so I'll go to furniture. The master's, you know, large enough. I think it's, it's fine. Um, but, um. It was just a lot, especially with doing that big um, carport, and then, of course, you've got that hole above the carport area, um, you know, for, like, um, it could be a rental space, or, um, you know, if you have an older teenager or college student, um, this would be a good house, you know, if you had an older college student, and then maybe younger ones at home, so... That is the property. Um, I love the coloring. I've used that um, darker uh, brick color with the, it's the older roof, um, uh, the blue roof. I'm not sure um, what it was called, but um, it looked to me real beachy, and I wanted to kind of go with, um, you know, that theme. I did use the ivy uh, windows, and I mixed it up over here in the living room of course you know to have those views of the pool and of the um the ocean i've got those tall arched windows but again um just really pretty um you know property to be beachside and um so yeah i'll probably um keep it for a little while it's like i said this the plots are just you know when they gave us those driveway plots they really kind of spoiled um all of us i think and so like I said, I don't use these regular lots as much, but yeah, that was the property. Um, thanks for watching and uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and I'll have more Sims free play videos coming up. Thanks, guys.